and I'm Amy and we are here with a BTD prompt number two which is what are your hobby fears? Um, first off it's definitely showing our dolls to people and fearing where they might touch their face or not mm -hmm. and in that case I found that adults are usually worse than children because it's easier to like say to children you can not touch their face and then like they, like they won't do it. But adults are different. Like, oh, oh, yeah. and all over the faces. Yeah, even though you say that. Yeah, the adults tend to listen a little bit less, like most people probably know from mm -hmm. experience. But yeah, that's one fear we have. Another fear that I have kind of like, but I have thought about it is buying second hand. It's not about, it's not mostly like if they will not send it or something like that. It's just if they're really, really, really yellow. We have never bought second hand and that's probably why we would never buy second hand. But I fear that a lot when, by, when thinking about it. Like mm -hmm. I've seen like doll second hand that like, I really like, like, F45, our friend sent us a link, and I was just like, what is this yellow? I want a new body for her, but what if I can't find a match or something like that? Um, I she came with a body, though, that one. I know, but I would never yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then also having them close to liquids, that scares me. Like when we go to cafes or something like that. When we, what? When we go to cafes or something yeah, like that. Yeah, like, door meeting have them on the table, there's liquid everywhere and it's like and uh, truthfully it's mostly their hair, like what if the hair goes into the glass or something because <laughs> you can't clean it <laughs> but still it scares me <laughs> I think like it used to scare me to leave my door open like, yeah, the door open because, because of cats. cats but like they seem to realise that this is off limits, yes. Like they don't care as much about like the cl they don't think of of the clothes as off limits, but at least the dolls. And they haven't. Oh yeah, they haven't really been talking. There's like, one monster under there. They haven't under been talking room. us with the clothes though. There's a motor constant. I know the cat's trying to get into the room. Yeah, also falling down. Luckily, we have a carpet in our apartment, so we haven't. Had anything drastic happening? Let's see if something yeah. really fell the other day on her back. Yeah. No. <laughs> and also, it's, it's like when the face ups go bad. That I feel that also. Yeah. Yeah. Benny's face up is kind of chipped. Yeah, chip. It's chipping like around her nose and eyes. So. She hurts also a bit. Yeah, so that sucks. That's really sad. Yeah. yeah. There's nothing that comes to mind for me especially. No, I don't really have any fears. So, at least non no non fixable. Like the face up. Like, it sucks, but I cannot do to fix it. Or have someone fix it? Since yeah, I, don't I mean that because. Yeah. We haven't tried that. Yeah. So, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye. Bye, Bye. Oh, and one thing in the end, I need this. Wait, because it doesn't stand. Oh, since you mentioned it, we'll just show it. It's crotchet on the top, and then there's just like one red scar. And like, so I have some credits. I made the pattern for it and cut it out. So I deserve some credit. <coughs> I found the pattern first for this month ago and she cut it out. It's pretty. Okay, <laughs> now you've seen the dress. It's really pretty and you know that. <laughs> okay, now it's goodbye. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. See you next time.